we'll be thinking about this. Hi, I'm Joyce Jones of Black Enterprise. Um, John Lewis put his life at considerable risk and danger so that you could stand here and talk about freedoms. And I want to know why it is so impossible for you to think that he uh, would lie, uh, that impossible to believe that somebody actually did spit on him or call him the N-word. Why would he lie about that when he's experienced so much worse? Okay, I'm going to provide an answer then. Someone can follow up. I see Mr. Kane walking up here. <laughs> um, first of all, there has been no evidence to substantiate the claim. And if we were just to look at that, there's been no evidence. There's, Why is there's the word a word not good enough? Well, in the, in the office, in the stage of public opinion, evidence is paramount. Okay, other than that, then it's one person's accusation against another. And if it was, it was so public, then it should not be a difficult time in finding the public evidence. And there is none. Well, so, we were there that day because okay. we were covering Did you, you hear it? Did you hear I, it? I was not walking with him, okay. but there were crowds. So it's very uh, easy, okay. easy to, right, I'm you to an assume answer. that such a uh, thing could occur and down. not everybody well, would see it. Something. It's not like no, the, yeah, there were no, film, no, cameras no, filming no, the whole thing all day. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to have Zoe and then can I do a follow up? Okay. Now, I understand. Why shouldn't this word be good enough? Why wasn't George Bush's word good enough? But let's not compare. No, 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 no and no evidence has been has been brought up. Your friend who doctored the NAACP. Doctored it. If, if he doctored, ma'am, if he doctored it, he did them a favor. Because if you look at the whole tape, you'll find out just how racist Shirley Sherrod is. I have to say something. Let me have a response. Let me let me respond to this this point. Okay. Very quickly, John Lewis is a hero. Okay, you may disagree with him on a variety of uh, ideological questions, but he's a hero. He wears. Uh, his crown on his head from the lumps he took in the civil rights uh, revolution. Having said that, why? Unfortunately, politics is very persuasive. Why did John Lewis stand up with Bob Berg? Uh, not only a former Klansman, but a former general within the Ku Klux Klan. Why did Robert Byrd support the filibuster, which was so often used to stifle the civil rights revolution that he was a part of, when it was used against Janice Rogers Brown when she was going up for the appellate uh, uh, judgeship. Because often, political pressure and political politics can persuade you to do things that you might not often do. But the bottom line in this case, Cleaver, Congressman Cleaver, alleged that somebody spit on him. The Capitol Police stopped this person, grabbed this person, asked Mr. Cleaver if they want him arrested. Cleaver said no. Now, does he not have a responsibility to stop all this racism? He's a congressman. He's a congressman. And he refused to press charges. Why? Because it is a fraudulent issue. Stop playing with racism. A man in Connecticut just killed nine people playing the victim card and alleging racism. It's a powder keg, folks. And you should not play games with it in our country. We've come a long way, and we don't want to look back. I just wanted to say about Shirley Shira, um, she You guys haven't asked her to apologize or to even say thank you to Glenn Beck, who is the person who said that she should not have been fired. Okay? Did you guys ask her? Did you guys ask her to uh, say thank you to Glenn Beck? Oh, you know, yeah, Fox News and all other news so sources, all the news sources that are represented here have people who are, ra who are racist. Now, I was a part of the NAACP. I was, my, my husband and I were a part of the Beverly Hills Hollywood NAACP, and they did not want my husband and I to be on it because we're an interracial couple and because they took our names off the ballot, and I told them if our names did not mysteriously reappear the same way it mysteriously disappeared, there would be hell to pay for it. So if you guys want to talk to somebody, go talk to them and, how come, and ask them how come they're racist. We had one more question. Real quick uh, comment. In the words of Johnny Cochran, if there is no spit, you must acquit. <laughs> <laughs> I also might add that 
I also I add as a congressman to to uh, attack the people and to point his finger and to seek provocation was less than what we would expect from a congressman. 